What inspired you to do the Geiger counter? Geiger counter was like uh, something I always wanted to do for guitar players and bass players. Right. Was um, like there's lots of normal distortions, classic fun, sure. you know, all that stuff. It's right. been going on for like, 30, 40 years, <laughs> and right? will continue. Yes, right. yeah. And I, I was lucky. I came up with a new idea for for using a digital computer as the effect. Like the digital is the effect, and right. it's an analog effect, but it's using digital. Right. You know right. what I mean? It's so. It's yeah, weird. It's, it's weird it's, to say, it's but so it's so hip. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then like just through the development of it, came up with the wavetable thing. And right. That's not new. That's not my idea. That's right. just right. something that I was able to integrate, and it really works well. So. Yeah, that is. So such it's a just a uh, four months of screwing around with with tones and uh, making the neighbors mad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out of Denver, right? Yeah, we're so you're at the top of the world, so you can make as much noise as you want to hear it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I, I again, like I, I just always wonder, like you know, what you know, like, do you ever lay in bed and go, ah, I got an idea? I do all the time, uh, all the time. And I never get any sleep when I do that. Yeah. Like, you gotta get up. You don't get the idea out right now. It's never gonna happen. Right. Well, I, I've, I've actually even read, I don't remember what, what you know, re, uh, science report it was, but they said that right. those ideas that come as you're going into sleep are that's when your mind's like at its most creative because yes. it's not, there's n obviously you're not even thinking about anything else about where your creative mind's going to try to put you to sleep. But yeah, exactly. You're getting all these ideas. I had a friend who always would write, had a pad and just like would write, you know, musical ideas out right there. Just yeah. they would kind of, I'm always, I'm, now I'm like, like half and half, like I lay there and I go sounds or I'm thinking notes, you know what I mean? But it's almost like I'll, I'll think of a melody but it, or I'll sit there and I go, if I chain the Geiger counter with, you know, the meat box and then, you know, like, you yeah. know, that's what I mean. It, yeah, I sit there and I think in circuits, like I conceptualize some idea and then like, I gotta get up and write it down right. if it's good. Right, right, <laughs> right. Hey, so what I thought I'd do is uh, sample myself with the line 6004. And then that'll free me up to spin with the knobs and mess around with the bit depth and the sample rate and the tone, the gain. It'll all have an effect on, you know, what sounds happen with the bass line. Um, let's start with this. cool to be able to sample yourself and kind of dial it in because then it frees you up to get the sound that you were you know that you think sounds good with your track or just on its own um, right there I think it sounds good if you listen to it there's almost like a doubling going on and, and distortion happening from the bit crushing um, I'm going to tweak it out a little bit more and maybe even try another wavetable synthetic sound it sounds like almost like a synth I just take this pedal and I tweak it and I get a sound that I like 
and then I sample it and I throw it into something and you know live anything goes so you can hear me playing live this is just straight bass into the line six